Good morning class. Today in math subject, we are going to start with lesson number 6, squares and square roots. For this chapter, I want everyone to please open the textbook so you can also understand the chapter al along with the presentation. So starting with the introduction, let us know about the uh, square. So in the square, we know that the all sides are equal, means here length and bre breadth are equal. Suppose here the measurement of length of each side is 2 cm. So according to the area of the square, it is 2 into 2, means 2 here is multiplied twice, 2 times 2. So here we can write 2 to the power 2, so answer is 4, means 4 is equal to 2 square. Similarly, 6 square can be written as 6 into 6 that is 36, 8 can be written as 8 square is 8 into 8 that is 64, 9 square is equal to 9 into 9 that is 81. Similarly, for the other numbers, for the other square, you can multiply the same number with itself. The number multiplied by itself is the square. So, we can say what are square numbers? When a number is multiplied by itself, the product is called a square number. It is denoted by number, any number raised to the power 2. We have already gone with the, we already learned with the chapter power and exponent. So, same concept is over here with the power here is 2. Means any number is multiplied twice. Moving on, properties of squares. Here you can see 2 multiplied by 2 gives 4. 3 multiplied by 3 gives 9, 4 multiplied by 4 is 16, 5 into 5 is 25, 6 into 6 is 36, 7 into 7 is 49, 2 times 8 is 8 into 8 is 64, 9 into 9 is 81 and 10 into 10 is 100. So we can say when the side of the square in centimeter is 1 square, one side is 1 centimeter, then the area of the square will be 1 into 1 means L into L that is side into side with that formula we will get the square. If it is 2 then 2 square it is 5 then 5 square if it is 8 centimeter it is 8 square 12 centimeter then it is 12 square. So in any number is numbered power 2. So here 1 4 9 16 24 etc uh, so on 36 49 64 81 100 and so on are known as square numbers. These numbers are also called perfect square. Now properties of square, first property you can see the numbers and uh, please look at the digit at ones place. You will see that the digit at ones place here you can see is 1, 4, 9, 6, 5 and including 0, 0, 1, 4, 6, 5, 9. So, these are the digit at the ones place for the any number when it is multiplied by itself. So, these are the digits that will always come at the ones place. So, we can say that we can see that the square numbers ending with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 only. No other number that is 2, 3, 7 or 8. You will not get this digit at the ones place. For for this square, you will always get 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 only instead of 2, 3, 7, 8. This number will never come for the number when it is squared. Next, property number 2. If a number has 9 or 1 at the unit place, then its square ends in 1. Let us see the example. 1, the square of 1 is 1. The square of 9 is 81. Square of 11 is 121. So, any number uh, when it is square which uh, one's place is 1 or 9, the answer will be ending with the digit 1. Okay, at the unit place the answer will be 1. Property number 3, if any number which has 4 or 6 at its unit place, its square will always end with 6. For example, when 4 square is done, 4 into 4 is 16, 6 into 6 is 36. So, this is the answer. When 16 multiplied by 16, the answer is 256. So, 
whenever the ones place digit is 4 6 the unit place is there when the number is multiplied with itself its square always ends with 6 property number 4 there will always be even number of zero at the end of any square number okay if 10 square is there so the zero will be 2 2 zero will be there at the 100 well, let us see the example 10 square is 100 20 square is 400 80 square is 6400 700 square is 4 like 90,000 see here two zeros becomes four zeros when it is square so even number of zero at the end of the square number next property number of five the square of an even number is always even here for example is 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, 8 square is 64. So square of an even number is always even. Next property, property number 6, square of an odd number is always, always odd. For example, odd number starts from 1. So 1 square is 1, 3 square is 9. 5 square is 25 so these all are the square of the odd number which is always odd now moving on the pattern now look at the pattern uh, in the previous classes we have done with the triangular numbers have everyone now remembered the triangular numbers which are the triangular numbers that is 1 3 6 10 these all are the triangular numbers so when two consecutive triangle numbers are added for example, 1, 3, 6, 10 is the continuous series of the triangle number. So, when 1 is added to 3, we get 4. Okay. When 3 is added to 6, we get 9. And when 6 is added to 10, we get 16. That is 4 square. So, you can, simultaneously you can get the square numbers. So, on combining two consecutive triangular numbers, we get a square number. You can see in the pattern, 1 is added to 3, this is 4, that is 2 square. 3 is added to 6, that is we get the 9, which is 3 square. And 6, when added to 10, we get 16, that is 4 square. And when you move on, 10 added to 20, 15, when add 10 plus 15, we are doing, we are getting 25. So, 25 is equal to 5 square okay so the combining two consecutive triangular number we get square numbers let us now read about the numbers between square numbers here uh, square of 1 2 3 4 5 in is written and we have to find out the difference between uh, how many numbers lies between the two consecutive square numbers so let us check it out here we have written the square of all the numbers uh, 1 square 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 and we have to write find out how many numbers to find how many numbers lies between two consecutive numbers it can be any two consecutive numbers any numbers so here let us uh, go with the basics uh, 1 square and 2 square 1 square is 1 and 2 square is 4 so how many numbers lies between 1 and 4 is okay so we can say that 4 minus 1 if we uh, subtract 1 from 4 we get 4 minus 1 that is 3 and if we subtract 1 from 3 we get 2 means how many digits we are getting 2 digit 2 different digits we are getting that is 2 and 3 okay 2 next between 3 square and 4 square that is 9 and 16 Okay, between 9 and 16, how many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers are there, different numbers. So, 16 minus 9 is 7, minus 1, that is 6. Okay, simple. This is we we'll discuss afterwards what is written in the textbook here. Now, 5 square and 6 is square, it is 36. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 digit how we got this so 36 minus 25 is 11 subtract 1 so 10 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 subtract we 1 we got 6 here 1 and 2 we have got 2 now what is the thing here 
the initial number which is the smaller number that we take n and the next consecutive number is n plus 1 clear this is n this is n plus n so square both the side this is the thing we are doing now 1 square 2 square if you take n 3 here then 3 plus 1 is 4 that is n plus 1 so any number you have to find so what is how many numbers lies between these two consecutive numbers so there are 2 into n numbers this is a simple trick to learn how many numbers lies between n square and uh, n plus 1 square suppose it is 15 square and n plus 1 means 15 plus 1 it becomes 16 square so how many numbers lies between 15 to 16 so simple it is 2n so what is our n initial here it is 2 into 15 so how many numbers lies between 15 square and 16 square it is 30 numbers lies between okay write down the square of 15 that is 2 2 5 and you have to find out how many numbers lie right between 2 56 okay so there are total 30 numbers any number you can check it out let us check out with 9 square and 10 square so simple 2 and so your n is 9 initial number smaller so 2 into 9 that is 18 total 18 numbers lies between 81 and 100 okay this is a simple thing that you have to learn next property adding odd numbers here we have to start the addition of the odd numbers with 1 so 1 number 1 square 2 odd numbers added 2 square 3 odd number added 3 square 4 odd number added 4 square so that last 7 odd numbers added that will be 7 square so sum of the first n odd natural number is n square if we want to find out the perfect square uh, for the number we have to continue subtract the odd numbers starting from 1 so this example is given from 25 1 3 5 7 and 9 is subtracted and ultimately we get 0 let us take an example that is 55 continue subtract 1 3 5 7 9 from 55 and the, whatever the answer we get 30 minus 11 that is 19 19 minus 13 is 6 now next odd number will be my 15 so subtracting 6 minus 15 will get the answer in negative that is minus 9 so we should get the answer 0 at the end if it is not 0 then the number is not a perfect square so here after subtracting 15 from 6 we will get minus 9 so we can say that 55 is not a perfect square so please do try these sums so you have a practice next is a sum of consecutive natural numbers consider 3 square now 3 square is 9 so how we can write 1 even number and 1 odd number is 4 plus 5 n plus n plus 1 that we can say 4 is n but the here the what they have taken the condition the number p square is taken so p square minus 1 by 2 is the first square. let us take another example 5 square so how we can get 12 and 13 so first 5 square minus 1 divided by 2 plus 5 square plus 1 divided by 2 solving 5 square is 25 25 minus 1 divided by 2 is 24 by 2 that is 12 and 5 square plus 1 that is 25 plus 1 that is 26 by 2 that is 13 that's why we are getting 12 plus 13 consecutive numbers nature numbers for uh, 21 square what will do 21 square minus 1 divided by 2 and 21 square plus 1 divided by 2. Let us find out. What will be the answer here? So, 441 minus 1 divided by 2. Next will be 441 plus 1 divided by 2. So, it is 440 divided by 2 plus 442 divided by 2. So, it is 220 plus 22. So it is 4, 4, 1. That you are getting the answer that is 21 square. 
नेक्स्ट नंबर फाइव प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू कंजिक्यूटिव इवन और ऑड नेचुरल नंबर्स व्हेन द प्रोडक्ट इज देयर मल्टीप्लिकेशन ये टू ऑड नंबर आर टेकन इलेवन एंड थर्टीन सो द आंसर इज वन फोर्टी थ्री सो हाउ दे हैव डन ट्वेल्थ स्क्वायर इज वन फोर्टी फोर सो ट्वेल्थ स्क्वायर माइनस वन और यू कैन सी द मिडल नंबर दे हैव टेकन आउट बिटवीन इलेवन एंड थर्टीन मिडल नंबर ओके सो ट्वेल्व माइनस वन इंटू ट्वेल्व प्लस वन दैट इज ट्वेल्व स्क्वायर माइनस वन नेक्स्ट थर्टीन इंटू फिफ्टीन टू ऑड नंबर्स तो बिटवीन नंबर इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन माइनस वन फोर्टीन प्लस वन फोर्टीन स्क्वायर माइनस वन देन थर्टी इंटू थर्टी इज थर्टी स्क्वायर वन इंटू प्लस वन इज माइनस वन सेम वे वी कैन से दैट फॉर एनी नंबर ए प्लस वन इंटू ए माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन नॉ लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू कंजिक्यूटिव इवन नंबर्स इवन नेचर नंबर्स लेट द नंबर बी टेन एंड ट्वेल्व सो योर मिडल नंबर इज इलेवन वी कैन राइट इलेवन माइनस वन इज टेन एंड इलेवन प्लस वन इज ट्वेल्व सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्मूला ए स्क्वायर माइनस वन योर ए इज इलेवन इलेवन इंटू इलेवन इज इलेवन स्क्वायर एंड माइनस वन इंटू वन इज वन स्क्वायर सो इलेवन स्क्वायर इज वन ट्वेंटी वन माइनस वन इट इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी योर ऑल्सो इन द प्रोडक्ट यू कैन सी टेन इंटू ट्वेल्व इज वन ट्वेंटी लेट इज अनदर एग्जाम्पल फोर्टीन इंटू सिक्सटीन अगेन द मिडल नंबर इज फिफ्टीन यू कैन राइट फिफ्टीन माइनस वन फिफ्टीन प्लस वन सो योर फिफ्टीन इंटू फिफ्टीन इज फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर एंड माइनस वन इंटू वन इज वन दैट इज वन स्क्वायर दैट इज वन फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर इज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव वन स्क्वायर इज वन सो आंसर इज टू ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन डू द प्रोडक्ट अब नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सम मोर पैटर्न इन स्क्वायर नंबर्स ऑब्जर्व द स्क्वायर नंबर्स वन इलेवन वन 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 फोर टाइम्स वन दे गिव अ ब्यूटिफुल पैटर्न सो चेक इट आउट वॉट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल पैटर्न इट इज द पैटर्न दैट वी आर गेटिंग द मिरर इमेज लेफ्ट साइड एंड द राइट साइड आर द मिरर इमेज ऑफ इट सेल्फ सो लेट इज चेक इट आउट राइट ऑन द नंबर वन स्क्वायर इज वन इलेवन स्क्वायर इज वन Two. Afterwards, we will write the next one, one, one. So it is one, two, three. This is not the answer. We'll give it afterwards. One, 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 four, four, one. So one, two, three, four. Next one, 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 five, one square. So one, two, three, four. Five. Our next step, what will be there? Then let us start from six. One, three, four, five, six. Six one. So starting with one, two, three, four, five, six. So write on the mirror image. One, two, one, three, two, one. After five, it is four, three, two, one. And it is five, four. Three, two, one. So whatever the number we are writing in the front of one eleven square, are the answer, actual answer. Let's start with seven square. It's forty nine. Now one times six and seven square. So what they are adding one times forty nine as it is in the corner, and one times four and one times eight. Answer actually it is correct. Sixty seven square is four thousand four hundred eighty nine. Now, but it is making a pattern out here. So again, four nine in the corner. Six how many times? Two times. So four four, eight eight. Four two times and eight two times. Next six one two three times six and seven square. Four nine in the corner as it is. Six how many times? Three times. So four four four, eight eight eight, and nine as it is. Means forty nine will remain in the corner as it is. Six six. Six six four six and seven square as it is. So forty nine as it is in the corner. One two three four four, eight 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 four times and nine as it is. So this is a beautiful pattern. Please try the sums of try this given in the textbook. Thank you.